How's it going, everyone? I am finishing up my laundry. Let's see what comes out for you. We are starting with, this is my <laughs> marijuana deck. Has a lot to do with weed on here. Um, I forget what it's actually called. The metamorphosis of something. We'll see. It's an oracle deck. I like the artwork. Oh, I'm sorry. My hair is a hot mess. <laughs> Somebody's making an offering. Ooh. Are you making an offering or is someone making one to you? Let's see. Memory. Somebody might be giving you a gift uh, based on a memory. Uh, like a peace offering. Like to show how much that you mean to them. Or this could be an idea for you on how to make up with someone. Like a photo album or like a, I don't know why I'm seeing a concert stub. Like I don't know if you're doing something with concert stubs. Maybe you guys, my nose is itching. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. My nose itches when I'm channeling good. My face in general itches <laughs> when I'm channeling good. Uh, this is a stable stable love gesture this is somebody i don't know if they fucked up a lot and gift giving is their thing but for majority of you i think this is like a pretty heartfelt either offering of words or actual offering of a gift or both uh, it could be a job offering um it could be a promotion if like somebody heard that you want to leave because you're not making enough money that might be your boss being like, you know what, I want to keep you on. Um, how about I offer you more money? Um, this could be a love offer here. Let's dig deeper into this offering. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Yamana. Yeah, Resurrection. Yeah, you want to bring something back to life or somebody wants to bring this back to life for you. Um, I really feel like this is coming in for a majority of you, but I think I'm talking to some people who are um, hoping to get someone back here or hoping to gain something. Um, this could be like trying to win someone's favor for a job. Uh, maybe you bid on a job and you have competition and you're like sending them food. Whatever you think that you need to do to get uh, better opportunities, you could be pulling that out of your hat. But majority of you, I feel like someone's coming in and being like, I miss you or I'm sorry. Um, this is like an action speaks louder than words. They want to show that they're stable, that you mean something, that they're sorry, that you're important. Um, maybe they're just trying to show you how long that you guys actually been in each other's lives. Um, initiation in reverse. You might reject this offer. You might not even want to hear anything about it. Why is this? Essence. It's all about the vibe for you. Um, I don't know if this person is a smooth talker or they've. Or you just don't trust people in general. It's like you can talk the talk all day, but you got to walk the walk. Um... You might accept the offer and say, thank you, I appreciate you putting time into this, but this doesn't mean that everything's fixed overnight. Give me one more for this essence. Your essence might be like, I don't give a good goddamn. Glam. Ooh. You could be calling someone in. You could be very looking very good, very sexy, high vibe. If you want to be pulling someone in, I feel like someone is coming in to give you a love, love offer. <laughs> Here we go with not being able to talk again today. But this could be someone who, you know, gets by their looks, gets by in life by seducing people. So you're like the essence of you're, you're trying to... What's the angle here? Why are you schmoozing me? <laughs> I'm from New York. So this is uh, 
little player. You, you don't. You. I'm not sure you're buying it. You do want something fruitful. You do feel like something can prosper here, but you don't know if this person is just for themselves or for this connection or for you. Um, yeah, you're paying attention closely. I think you're paying attention to how they act around other people, how they act around you, what they're creating, what their what their intentions are, what what their purpose is with you. Um, are they trying to get something off of you, get something out of you? Are they trying to make themselves look karma? It could be maybe they need to come back and apologize. If this is somebody like going through AA, this could be like coming back with a gift, being like, I'm, so, I'm sorry for all the years I was a freaking dick. And you're like, great, good for you. But at the same time, you were a dick for a long time. And like, I, I can't allow you back into my life. I appreciate the apology. But, you know, it doesn't really change anything. Some of you might be going that way. Others of you might be like, you know what, I just need some time. You know, I, I, I'm not going to just take your word for it. I want to see results. Or you're just not saying anything and you're letting things play out, but you're watching like a hawk. So let's see what's currently going on with you, what we need to talk about. I am using my Stranger Things tarot deck. I am a big fan of the show. So, of course, I bought this deck. I have a lot of show and movie decks and out of all of them this looks the most like the characters they did a really good job with the artwork some of the cards are stupid like ugh, you could have put something better there but you know there is a lot of cards so maybe they ran out of ideas let's see what's going on currently the sun Ooh, happy somebody's happy you're glowing up you're I feel like this is a karmic. This is like an ex. Like you're looking good. You're smelling good. People are barking up your skirt or your man trousers. And somebody don't like it. Or if it isn't an ex, this is somebody who's crushing and doesn't like that. They may have competition. But this is happiness. Good vibes. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving away from this person. You're moving towards your happiness. And this person is in a panic. I'm not sure if you're moving on to a new job and this is like a boss situation. Like your work really needing you. Your family really needing you. And you're like, I'm moving. Sorry. got Sorry about you. You're, you're just about moving on to greener pastures where you can be happy and more fruitful. Page of spokes. Someone's reminiscing. Somebody can't. They like want to drive back to you. Um, want to get to you. Want to tell you their feelings. Um, things are adding up for this person. Uh, there's a lot of remorse here with the moon. They have some truths to tell you. Maybe you don't know their feelings. Oh, how interesting. They, like, don't, they want you to park your bike and stay, and you're moving on. Maybe they didn't ever tell you their feelings, and now it's too late, or you just don't want this person back because there's an ending. You're done with this person, or the, you're done with the situation. All right, near future, what do we need to know? Ace of, ooh, someone's coming in with that offer, though. They're going to make that offer. Whether you want it or not, an offer's coming. You might have multiple offers. You might have to pick between two things. Either way, you're filling up your own cup. You ain't worrying about anyone else's cups. But someone, this person, I feel like they're going to be butthurt. I think you're telling them to hit the road, Jack. It's a little late and a dollar short, or I don't, I think you're full of shit. I think you just don't want to see me happy or you want a piece of this and it ain't, it ain't going to go down like that. Yeah, but you do have a king of scoops. Some, this is somebody solid. I feel like you're rejecting someone and someone good is coming. Yeah, that's what you don't see. You're going to be blinded by the bad offer that you, like karmic-y 
person, someone you're not really interested in, and then you're also going to have someone you're very, very interested in that you're going to say yes to. So out with the old, in with the new, I feel like. Good stuff. See you next time. Bye, guys.